welcome back to my channel my name is Manny so I actually figured out you guys enjoyed my last cooking Christmas video so I decided to do what I will be cooking for New Year here is what I intend to do I would prepare everything this night so if I show you guys the preparation process it's going to be a long video which I do not want I'm not too sure what I intend to do but like I'm going to prepare everything this night so tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. I'll just wake up and finish everything I don't want to cook too late by 12 a.m. everything should by 12 p.m. everything should be ready so see you guys soon this is my tomatoes it's ready this is my turkey stock or bread right here and yes I'm going to be using it as well then I also have my eggs I'll be using all of this to cook my stew then I have um, bay leaf here I'm going to be using it as well then I have my um, blended spice in here I blended my spices into um, paste bell pepper onion garlic ginger just you know spices and then I have my curry here I'm going to be using vegetable oil and this is corn oil then I have my of course Maggie then salt so I'll just take you guys through the process how I'm going to be cooking everything I've been boiling my tomato paste for about 10 minutes because that would reduce the sour test now I just want to mix everything up as you can see it's already looking last too but we are just going to spice that up So next, I'm going to add, be adding my eggs, then I'll turn on the heat to be high. The reason why I turn the heat to be low is just that I don't want it to splash all over. When I cover the pot, I'm going to um, turn on the heat. So I want to leave one for my daughter to just play with. I won't be putting in this one. Then I'll turn everything to make sure that it's well combined. Just mix, 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 and mix. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy already. It's really, really yummy. So 
we are actually done with the stew and everything is very nice oh mama okay so yes we are done I'm done preparing this stew now so over to soup this is called afan soup and it's my own traditional soup like in Nigeria we have multiple languages and several food but this is like the main course where I come from which is Akwaibo formerly so next I'll be going in with my cow skin this is already um, pre-boiled because like I showed you this yesterday it was very very hard please I'll use the part I don't like this flour. next is my dried fish it's actually smoked dried fish in a while you see everything will begin to come together just trust the process I kind of like look a lot, but um, it's actually a lot. Next, I'm going to be adding in my famous seasoning cube from Nigeria. Okay. Next is my chili. That's enough because my husband really doesn't like much of chili. Again, I don't have a measurement for this. I know the quantity of soup that I'm going to be cooking, so I know the quantity of salt to put. Even if I don't test this, it's still going to come out nice. I'm just going to combine this so next I'll be putting the shrimp usually we don't put this but it's a personal reference requested by my husband so yeah why not shrimps is in and every other thing is in I'm going to go in with spinach usually we use water leaf but this replaces water leaf and it works really well as well so yeah. oil I'm going to be very very generous with this because afang soup is all about the amount of oil you put now I'm supposed to put my crayfish but we do not have crayfish and we cannot find it here I'm just going to let this boil out and finally I'll be adding my afang leaf to it so this is my dried afang leaf and I just want to turn this sorry if I'm a little bit um, slow because I'm carrying my daughter with one hand she's just a little bit no not a little bit like she's been so fuzzy recently and I really do not know why the next is my famous afang leaf So I'm going to put more palm oil to this to give it that sexy, some short look. So guys, the soup is finally ready now. You can see this is the consistency I was looking for. The oil, everything is to perfection. So, yes.
next i'm going to be doing chicken suya so for this part i'm just going to take off the skin and use this part i'm just using my hand so i'm going to finish preparing this off camera then i'll show you guys the mixing process this spice is a combination of um salt pepper anything you can think of like suya spice garlic ginger everything so it's already made what i'm going to do now is just to add um olive oil to read then just marinate it and keep it I'm just going to cover this up with another foil put it in the fridge then when I wake up I'm going to start grilling this was marinated overnight I thought I was going to fry it but I've changed my mind I want to grill it so I will be putting this right here in the oven so guys this is the end i'm done cooking everything for today starting from my right this is ching ching it's called ching ching in nigeria and elder a snack and this is afan soup like i said this is my very own traditional food this is stew pretty much everybody know about this stew in nigeria this is grilled fish which i'll be having after now we some wine, some suya, and coslo. So this is the suya I made. And rice, then I had the coslo salad. That's basically everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if there is anything else you want to see me cook, feel free to comment on the comment section and I'll definitely, you know, cook that. Until some other time, see you guys on my next video. Thank you.